guys, it's Akako here. In this video, we're going to do a comparison between the Huawei Y9A and the Samsung Galaxy A51. Like we always do this, let's start with a little history. The A51 was announced in December of 2019 and is currently selling for 1,799 Ghana cities. Whilst the Y9A was announced in about a week ago and currently selling for 1,559 Ghana cities. Physically looking at both devices, the Y9A is significantly bigger than the A51, probably due to that bigger battery and a bigger screen on this device. Let's break this down. When it comes to the displays, the A51 has a Super AMOLED display at 6.5 inches, so you have those deep and rich colors found on the display. And the Y9A has an LCD panel at 6.63 inches with some very good color reproduction too. The A51 has a punch hole selfie camera on the screen and an in-display fingerprint sensor. The Y9A has a full view display with a motorized selfie pop-up camera on the top and a fingerprint sensor tucked into its power button on the side. So you have the full view to view all the contents that you want. Both screens here are 1080p resolution. Diving deeper into both devices, the A51 has Android 10 and One UI installed, it has the Exynos chipset, it has an octa-core CPU, the Mali G72 GPU with 128GB of storage and 4GB of RAM. The external memory card support can be extended to 1TB. The Y9A on the other hand has a MediaTek Helio G80 chipset, an octa-core CPU, the Mali G52 GPU, EMUI based on Android 10 installed, has 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage too. External storage can be expanded to 256GB. This is the Antutu score. The Y9A scored 179,408 whilst the A51 scores 176,054. So you can see the Y9A is ever so slightly higher than the A51. Now that the specs are out of the way, let's try some speed test. and the Y9A comes out on top. Powering the Y9A is a 4200 mAh battery. This has a 40 watt super fast charging support and the A51 on the other hand has a 4000 mAh battery and only supports 15 watts of fast charging. For charging, the Y9A charges up to 70% in about 30 minutes and fully charges in about an hour whilst the A51 charges to 36% in 30 minutes and fully charges in about an hour and 40 minutes. So when it comes to charging and the batteries, the Y9A seem to have the upper hand here. When it comes to the cameras, the Y9A has a 64 megapixel main sensor, a 2 megapixel depth sensor, a 2 megapixel macro camera and an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera. And the front pop-up selfie camera here is a 16 megapixel camera. The A51 on the other hand has a 48 megapixel main camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor, a 5 megapixel depth sensor and a 5 megapixel macro camera. The selfie camera found on here is a 32 megapixel sensor. For the videos, the Y9A is able to shoot at 1080p 30 frames per second, whilst the A51 can shoot up to 4K at 30 frames per second.
For the pictures, when you zoom into the pictures though, you can see the Y9A has a lot of detail, so it has really sharp images. Hello fam, this is a fun selfie video camera test on both devices. Let me know what you think about the colors, the skin tones, also how do I sound? Let's get interactive in the comment section. Let's go. So in conclusion, considering the Y9A has bigger batteries, bigger screen, super fast charging capabilities, good looking pictures, and amazing performance at a considerably lower price, I think the Y9A is a decent device. If you're able to embrace the app gallery, this is an amazing device to pick up. This brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel, leave in the comment section your view or comments. I'd like to hear from you. I'll see you in my next upload. Peace, I'm out.